How does BLP sustain a culture of learning? Um, we very much always want to be improving. We're really looking at ourselves and how we can raise the bar on the work that we've done previously that was already great to provide better learning solutions for our clients. And what we wanted the communities of practice to really be able to do is to provide a forum where graphic designers or writers or um, other multimedia developers can talk to people who are doing their same kind of role, learn from each other, um, be up to date on best practices and trends, and use it really as an opportunity to make sure that across the organization we're all learning from each other and that we don't become siloed. We're very passionate about technology and how we can better do what we do for our clients and we're, there, it's not going to be a situation where their needs are going to outpace our preparedness for it. We're always going to be looking at that next thing. Because we have a lot of technologically savvy people here at BLP, um, we're able to stay in front of the e-learning trends, the web, the app trends, um, and kind of bring those uh, to the e-learning world lots of times before they're actually even here. BLP started doing video about seven years ago. We started with just a little handy cam and some shop lights. And now we've expanded our skill set, our equipment, and our capabilities to include just about anything that the client needs. Well, by having a product dev team internally, we're able to experiment with new technologies, verify what works, so that when it comes time to delivering something for a client, we've already had practice with it, we've already tested it, it's ready to go. Just with our people alone, we bring people in and they tend to find a place where their talents are maximized and learn new things and expand. BLP learns together for communities of practice, skill builder opportunities and small learning experiments, and constant improvement.